Now to a forecasting our future special report tonight. Really the trip of a lifetime. Sarah Long in Maine's total weather traveling to Antarctica, which is warming at a rate of five times the global average. Sarah shows us how climate change there is affecting the ecosystems in Antarctica and around the world with the impact even being felt right here in Maine. The Great White Continent of Antarctica is a place I've wanted to lay eyes on for decades. In January of this year, summer in the Southern Hemisphere, I packed my bags and made the days long trip to the southern tip of Argentina, boarded a ship in the port city of Ushuaia and crossed the Drake Passage. Finally, a view of the stunning and vulnerable Antarctic Peninsula. Vulnerable because this western region of Antarctica is warming at five times the global average. This warming will continue to impact sea ice, the ecology of the region, and ocean circulations around the globe. The important thing about polar regions in the Arctic and the Antarctic is that these regions are fragile and they are critical to the kind of circulation and overall uh, ecology of marine life on our planet. So I've been with Gulf of Maine for about a year. Dr. Janet Duffy Anderson is the chief scientist officer at the Gulf of Maine Research Institute. She spoke with me about the impacts of climate change on our polar regions and what those changes mean to us here in Maine, where the Gulf of Maine has recorded the two warmest years on record in 2021 and 2022. And changes that happen there, even though it's remote, have direct impacts on our neighborhoods, on our regional systems, and uh, sort of how we position ourselves moving forward. The poles are warming faster as sea ice melts and is no longer there to refract sunlight. So if you think about it, in the poles, in the wintertime, sea ice forms and it covers open water, which is relatively dark, and ice itself is, is light, it's white. And so typically it refracts radiation up to, I think, 80 or 85 percent refraction. Without the typical sea ice in the Arctic and Antarctic, the ocean surface is now absorbing more of the heat. Antarctic sea ice also keeps the adjoining glaciers bottled up over land. As the sea ice melts, that gate is opened for the ice to work its way into the sea, impacting sea levels across the globe. The sea ice is also a crucial part in the ecology of the Antarctic Peninsula. Under that ice, krill feed on algae. That krill is crucial to the diets of the diverse marine life, including seals, penguins, and whales and the impact on those ecosystems will continue to affect life right here in the Gulf of Maine. There's a, a feature called a, a global ocean circulation that the Antarctic Peninsula and the Antarctic continent itself is very important to. That current is disrupted and amplified uh, by warming in the, in the Arctic Ocean and it changes the circulation patterns globally, makes it warmer and also accelerates the speed of those flows. A reminder that species across the globe are interconnected and impacted by even the most remote regions few get to visit. And the changes that we put in place now in the next three to five years can change the trajectory of that. And so we're actually in a really good place in order to mitigate and adapt to some of these changes that are coming for Gulf of Maine and around the world. For Maine's Total Weather, I'm meteorologist Sarah Long.